Hey, Keith here with Bantech Consulting. I was just getting ready to do some testing on a uh, spool of uh, fiber. And uh, obviously the first thing we have to do when we do any test is uh, make sure that our connectors are good. And what I found, what I came up with, um, which prompted this video, is that on my screen, when I'm doing my my uh, scoping and looking at my connector is my screen here is a little dark. I can't really see the image well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can adjust the settings in the uh, P5000i to actually improve that image. So let me uh, hook this up. You have to do it on a computer. And uh, so I'm going to move this over to my computer and open up uh, FiberCheck Pro. And we'll be right back. What we've got here is, um, this is a Viavi's website, and um, if you go to update my unit, so this is updatemyunit.net, um, that is Viavi's repository for a bunch of different uh, software applications, things like that. You can get updates for your platforms, etc. What we're looking for is application software here just for your desktop click on that and this will give you what runs on computers so what you're interested at this point is FiberCheck Pro software this is a free of charge update um, and program so once you download that just go ahead and install that on your machine this is FiberCheck Pro and right now if you look up here um, I've got my P5000i plugged in this is how you update your microscopes, your, your probes. Um, firmware updates, etc., would be done in this program. So once you plug them in, it will say there's a probe update, etc. Um, you can also do your inspection and reporting off of FiberCheck Pro. There is another video on the channel about that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually adjust and calibrate P5000i. So Right now, uh, you know, it's looking pretty ugly and it says it's in focus, which, you know, let's be smarter than the machines. It's not. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, focus this up real quick. Make sure that we have a good image. When you see that, just focus right through it. And there's our connector. Now come up to your setup. And there's FiberCheck Pro setup, which is for the software program and the 5000i. So this works if you had a power meter or something plugged in here, you can also adjust those as far as um, wavelengths that are on it. You can take some off. If you're not using multi-mode, you can pull those off. If you're using a specific uh, wavelength that you want to look at, you can add that. So again, you know, this, this has, a, uh, has a lot of things that you can do with it. You can use your power meters, uh, the P5000i, the OLP82Ps, things like that. Um, so right now, again, we're just in for, um, interested in using this for our P5000i. So I clicked on the optical settings here, and we're interested in the standard tips. So what you do is you just double-click that, and that's going to give us this little window over here on the side, which is going to say we can auto-adjust our optical settings. So this is for a simplex uh, type of connector. Uh, it's a 125 cladding, and then... Um, we want to kind of adjust this. So what we're going to do is you can do the um, auto adjust here and the machine will go out and kind of, if you notice, it's looking at the brightness and it's going to adjust it for what it believes to be the, the best levels. Okay. Once you've done this auto adjustment, then what we can do is take that back over, plug it into your 2000 or to your frame. If you're using a 2000, 4000, 8000, 6000, whatever it is, you can plug that in and see how it looks on that machine. If it's not what you like, um, as far as brightness and everything, you can actually manually adjust the lighting over here. So this says right now it's auto completed. So as you can see, this is a lot brighter than what we started out with. So let's go ahead and we'll say, okay, that will set the firmware in the 5000i and uh, give us again a little brighter picture here so let's pop back over to the uh, 
to the frame and uh, plug this in and see how the image looks. All right, so we've got this plugged back into the uh, to the T-Bird 2000 frame, and you can see just off this picture how much better that actually is. So same focus levels basically, um, you know, but the lighting on it is is improved greatly. So I'll put a uh, we'll have a comparison shot up here, but. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Just go into your FiberCheck Pro, plug in your probe, go up to the P5000i, get, um, go into your, your BAP, so that's the type of tips you're using, and basically run the uh, auto check or the auto uh, calibration on it, auto leveling, and you'll get a much better um, representation on your machines as far as the, the lightness. If you have any other questions, feel free, leave it down in the comments. Uh, we'll try and get back to you. Usual YouTube and uh, social networking stuff. Like, subscribe, hit bells, things like that. Anyway, hope this was useful. Be safe, and we will talk to you later.